bag, brushes that aren't like, be quiet! And, and it's like, it can hang on the wall, which is the best part. Hey everyone, it's me. Sorry about my blue tongue. If you guys saw that, I was eating a popsicle earlier. So, you know, I have my kid moments every once in a while. But today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my travel makeup bag. And sorry that I'm not wearing like a lot of makeup because, um... I just wasn't feeling like wearing a lot of makeup, plus my hair just pulled back, and I'm wearing a workout t-shirt because I'm packing, if you guys can tell, so I didn't really feel like dirtying any clothes that I might be using there, but um, basically I'm just going to get into what I'm bringing, so the first thing that I'm bringing is my makeup brushes, and I got this case at Costco, it's the Kirkland brand brushes, so it's like a really nice, um, it's like a really nice case, and it is super cute, it's like purple if you guys were wondering. And a nice, it's nice because it rolls up. And then also it has this like, part right here just holds like the brushes that aren't, um, don't have like a stick to do that. And then I just kind of traded in a couple brushes that I don't use from this um, set to more eyeshadow brushes because the rest of these I do use. Like I use my, um, so I use my powder brush and like all these different brushes. Um, and if I'm there and I'm going to do makeup on anyone, I have... Like a couple brushes I brought extra so like I have this extra brush right here from elf that I brought because I really needed another eyeshadow brush for lighter um, colors because this is my light colored brush and my dark colored brush is the other one and I cleaned these right before um, I packed them so that they'd be like clean and you know nice and if you guys hear any noise in the background I'm sorry I'm packing and my family um, my little brother and sister have friends over right now so it's like kind of annoying because you can hear them talking so that's that's what in this one. So the next one I have is this, and this is just from Claire's. If you guys are wondering, and I have my all my fragrances that I'm gonna take, and I'm only taking four fragrances. If you guys are wondering, and um, by the way, this is all going in my travel bag, not my carry on, and um. And I'll, t I'll have a full on what I'm packing and then also what I'm packing in my carry on bag. So you guys don't have to worry about waiting for that. Um, that'll be up soon enough. So in here I have my secret and this is in Truth Pear Body Splash. And then I have White Citrus, Pear Some More, and Secret Wonderland. These are like my favorites for summer um, this year. I mean, I never tried the Fresh Pick line so I don't know about that one. But then the other two things I have in here are just, this is a hairspray because I'm just going to need a little can. I don't use hairspray every single day, but when I do, I'm going to be like, I'm going to want to have just a little bit. And then my favorite nail polish that I've been using so much now, it's on my nails right now. It's called Vitamin C by Wet n Wild and it's from their collection Spoiled. And you can pick that up at CVS. So, and then this is the L'Oreal one, so I don't know where you can get that. But, um, yeah, so that's basically what I have in this bag. So, in this bag right here, by the way, um, I just wanted to let you guys know before I get into this bag. Um, my makeup remover wipes, I'm using the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes, but I'm not packing them in my makeup bags because they're a little bit too big and I want to use the room for makeup. So, in this baby right here, this is my Vera Bradley in Island Blossom. And I love this one because it is so easy to store stuff in and it's like it can hang on the wall which is the best part. So it just ties up and then you just, it looks like a little miniature briefcase purse thing. So the first thing I have in here is the e.l.f. palette and I'm pretty sure this, yeah this is the Marbled 100 shades and I love this because it's great pigmentation and I took off the applicators if you guys were wondering but um. I just love this because it has so many different colors and it's amazing and it has like all the colors that I would need um, just for like color time. So yeah and that's just sitting in this part of it. It's not really like in it, it's just kind of sitting there. So I'm going to show you guys in this top part right here, I, I just keep my feminine products, you know, stuff that I need that isn't like going to be clear because it's the only um, not clear pocket. So. You know, but then up right up here, I have the hook, so it just hooks on, and um, that is can be hidden, so it's really easy and nice, and everything stores really well with this. That's one one of the reasons why I love Vera Bradley because they make such great products that can easily be hidden. 
And by the way, I, t I do have one makeup remover thing, and it's a travel size for this. So if you guys are wondering, I do have one in here. So in this first pocket right here, I have my travel facial towelettes, my lip balm, my Virtuoso lip balm, my Girl Scouts lip balm, my eyelid primer, my L'Oreal false lashes um, mascara, and that's in brown, my e.l.f. makeup um, mist and set, and then my favorite all-time favorite um, mascara scandalized and then under that I have my wet n wild um, gel liner and then I have a wet n wild um, white liner to highlight my brow bone and my Ulta brand glitter black liner and then I have a luscious liquid lipstick um, from elf and that's in the first one so then in the second one I have mostly like powders and like anything like that so I have Walking on Eggshells 380B, and that's from What and Wild. Then I have my Glam Eyes HD Rimmel London right here, and then behind that I have my Hot Eyes like little um, eight eyeshadow palette, and it's really vibrant color, so that's why I love that. Then I have my NYX Roll On Shimmer in Chestnut, and then I have my Primark Trust Dust, which is for the eyes, and then I have my powder and then I have my um, bag bomb that I depotted then I have tiara from Ulta in this little single and then I have a NYX chrome eyeshadow in nymph and then I have a love and beauty gel liner um, or cream liner and then I have a um, and then I also have a color tattoo by Maybelline in bad to the bronze and then in the bottom pocket right here I keep my like hair products and things like that I have here is the Frizz Ease from by John Frieda and it's just tiny and nice because I'm not going to need it every day. Then I have my Clinique. I always try to keep everything in its packaging so it stores nicer. And this is just the Clinique gel, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel with Pump and I love this stuff. And um, I have that in there. And then the next thing I have like a bunch of hair ties. I have a lot. I have a lot of hair ties. This isn't even all of them, it's just a chunk that I just got out. The next thing I have is this hairbrush, and I love this one because my paddle brush actually broke. So when I'm there, I'm probably going to pick up a paddle brush, um, just because then I won't have to take a lot with me. And then the next thing that I have is this Tresemme Smooth No Frizz Ultra Light, because I need to make sure that I have products that I can trust that are going to make my hair nice, so I don't have to deal with buying products that are maybe not my favorite and this is just by trust me like I said before and then this is the Old Spice Swagger deodorant and I have this one and then one more and the reason I have both of them is because I it depends on what I'm doing if I'm going to be playing sports I'm going to be needing like a more manly type of deodorant because I don't want to smell like nasty I just I like the way this smells and it it goes on like clean like you can't see it and it's clear and the, the stick ones from girl the girl version are just terrible so I just picked up the guy version and they're like 24 hour odor protection so that's that least bag is this one and this is where I keep my other deodorant like I said and this is the Old Spice Sweat Defense Pure Sport and this is really nice because when I am like not wanting to smell bad like this one is for when I actually do play sports because I do go there and I have fun and I do stuff and I don't want to smell really gross so I have this also and it's just not even open. and then I also have my Colgate Total Clean Mint and this is just really nice to have because when you are going on a trip you want to have a small version of stuff and then I can always pick up more toothpaste but I also have my whitening one that I will be bringing um, my parents are actually packing that. Then I also have this medium bristled purple Colgate um, toothbrush. And I purchased this for $0.94 cents at Walmart. And then um, it came in a set and I got the medium one because the rest of my family has soft bristles. But I like the medium ones. And then I also have this for my toothbrush because I don't like... I feel like it gets so dirty and it still feels like it's dirty when it's in these but it feels a little bit better so this was from CVS and it was a dollar so it was a pretty good deal plus it was pink and it was so cute so I just put my toothbrush in it like that, that is all that I have in my travel makeup bags 
now I'm gonna like let you guys have links I'll put links down below to the rest of the travel videos that I've already uploaded and um, yeah so I hope that you guys stay tuned for when I upload my what's in my carry-on what's in my travel um, what's in my suitcase and if you guys haven't already looked if I have uploaded this or not then make sure to check out my traveling tips and tricks but I'm not sure when I'm uploading any of these because I'm going to be filming these all week long and then I'm uploading them whenever I get a chance to. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I love you guys. Bye.